Okay, time to make one thing clear before this video starts up. I do not dislike season 6 and 7 of Thomas. Quite the opposite, I actually think they're both pretty good seasons, especially 7. This video is not about the season's qualities, this is more about the releases and what changes went on behind the scenes that make me believe them not to be classic seasons. Now let's get to the video proper. So when I did those biggest issue with the classic series videos not too long ago, somebody was probably thinking, I never actually got a comment about it, but was probably thinking, why didn't you do season 6 and 7? And here's my thing, season 6 and 7 are very well produced seasons, but I don't particularly consider them classic seasons. Now this isn't me saying that, oh, they're hit era seasons, no, I don't think Season 6 or 7 fit into the establishment of being a part of Seasons 1 through 5's classic era or 8 to 12's hit era. To me, they're more their own era that transitions from the classic series to the later model seasons, if you know what I mean. The biggest thing is its placement. It's less to do with the quality of the seasons and did a pivotal moment that would change the show come out in between that would, in my opinion, justify that, and well, the answer is yes, Thomas and the Magic Railroad. For everything Magic Railroad did, I do think Magic Railroad should be the cutoff point where Magic Railroad's release ends the classic series. Not Magic Railroad being included in it itself, but anything coming right before it is the end of that golden age that Thomas is known for. Think like how after the first Spongebob movie, no one considers anything afterwards to be a part of that show's golden age for the most part because, well, Hillenburg had left the show and, you know, that was a big thing that changed it. Or look at The Simpsons with the release of the episode The Principal and the Pauper as that changed the series forever. And that doesn't mean episodes right after those shows' golden ages are actively bad. It just means that the show changed so drastically in between installments that that should be the cutoff point. And I think the same should be said for Thomas, is that Thomas and the Magic Railroad is the point where the classic series cuts off. Also, while Britt Allcroft was still on board with Thomas to some extent during these two seasons, her involvement was not as prolific compared to the first five seasons, Irving Moore as an executive producer during these two seasons. And David Mitten, who while did write a handful of episodes for season six, was definitely less involved, with a brand new writing team coming in. And you know, no disrespect to them, they definitely can do very talented things, but you can tell it took him a little while to understand the world of Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. While I don't have the most amount of reasons, really there's only like two or three I have, these are why I believe season six and seven to be more or less their own era than classic or hit entertainment seasons. But what you guys think in the comments below, am I wrong and I should consider them classic seasons? Am I also wrong and I should consider them hit entertainment seasons? Or am I right and I should just consider them their own thing? Please answer, and tell me what you think of both seasons in the comments below. I went through them fairly recently, and I think they're both really good, just not classic seasons. Anyways, thanks for watching, and take care. Bye!